Good morning, folks. Quick view over the UK yesterday where a non-night fireball crashed through the atmosphere. I was half expecting a flash with how low that thing got to the ground. As we come to spaceweathernews.com, note the jumpiness of the solar images. SDO was calibrating, but it's not a problem. Proba 2 swap data and 174 angstroms during that time shows nothing of concern. We will, however, watch the central filament today astride the small coronal hole. That one could release at any moment, but I'll tell you what's not releasing x-rays. Solar flaring is a dud as the lone sunspot group decays and turns right to head out of view to the far side. Folks, there is something new at spaceweathernews.com. Discover solar wind chart. You can now see it right next to the ACE solar wind data, and you may have noticed this chart isn't anywhere else on Earth except for NOAA's government site. It's because they don't give you a JPEG or the GIF file like with just about every other graphic. It is just the JSON code. Luckily, the same guys building our EarthSpot and OLR AI program knew just what to do with that. Let's thank our partners at Nine Reese for that one. Anyway, what you need to notice here is the solar wind speed dropping out in purple. Streams are calm, and so is our planetary shield. That is set to end when the next coronal hole stream strikes our planet, but before that the IMF will link up and we'll get a quake watch. Last night we set the initial large area, 25 to 45 latitude north, minus the Americas. This was related to four shocks and blot echoes. The watch goes until the magnetosphere is whacked, and we'll refine the alert areas for energy as we go. Let's do our top stories. Well, ExoMars successfully got into Mars orbit. The lander descended, but stopped returning data shortly thereafter. During the descent, the heat shield and parachute appear to have come out earlier than expected. Then the thrusters turned off sooner than expected, and the soft landing they hoped for likely did not happen. Updates will be coming out of the ESA all day today. University of Florida gives us the fourth study this year suggesting solar system formation needs a gargantuan rethink. This is a binary system of 12 and 57 Jupiter masses each orbiting an even bigger binary, a binary binary. We also have a paper on habitability of exoplanets with a nice chart that uses star size and stellar flux. Earth there in the middle, Mars to its right. Folks, don't close your computers just yet. As soon as this video uploads, I'm uploading another one. What does a space weather news group do when the president makes a space weather executive order? We'll see. Next video coming up in less than an hour. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.